everyone welcome to the 4x4 fab shop and today we're going to look at you just got your tubing bender all done you got the cylinder in it you just got from Harbor Freight or something similar to it you hit the air and nothing happens and you're trying to figure out what is it broke what's happening what's going on so I'm going to walk you through what it typically is on these type vendors that we put the air over hydraulic cylinder on it so we don't have to manually crank it. Alright, so let me show you a few options to look at and what it typically ends up being. Alright, so we got a typical manual tubing bender. This is a Woodward Fab bender. We got it all done. Got the swag mount all welded up. You've probably seen the video on the channel. We've got the cylinder on it from Pittsburgh, which means Harbor Freight. And these things are used all the time on these manual style benders who ain't sitting there cranking on the handle. But there's one thing that most people don't tell you about these. Let me show you. All right, so these type cylinders are primarily made to be used in a vertical you know, format. So as long as the handle is closed, so if we close the valve, you can see if you cycle it by hand, it goes up. Also, if you put air on it, it works also. Now one thing about these cylinders, when they're laying down horizontally, you notice it doesn't work. One of the key points of these are which side your pump is on, right? So on this side, obviously, we have nothing. Okay, so if you just turn it over, where the pump section is on the bottom, you get some motion out of it. All right, so I put the cylinder back in the bender and it's fairly horizontal. I'm going to show you how far it can bend in this configuration. All right, so we put a piece of pipe in it because if there's no load on it, it's hard to tell if it's actually working right. So we're just going to take a little bit of pressure off. Make sure the valve is closed. We're going to take some tension off the tube. Okay, so we're there. We're going to set zero on our gauge. And let's see how far we can bend. Okay, so we made it to 45 degrees. I'm going to let the pressure off. Get the ram back. Alright, so let's take it to 90. And one bent tube. When you mount these cylinders, they're very touchy about the horizontal. You got to be horizontal or a little bit past. Typically, you got to roll these under just a little bit so that the oil gets to them. Now, this one we did add a little more oil, pop out this little plug, and get you a little bottle of hydraulic oil when you buy your cylinder. Once again, these are made to be used in the vertical, not in the horizontal. So while you're there, pick up a little bottle of uh, hydraulic oil, put a little bit in there, and if it doesn't work when you put it on, rotate it down just a little bit. You'll find that that'll make all the difference in the world. But when you first put this on, if it's the other way around, guaranteed will not work. 
All right, everyone. So that's just a quick video on if you go to buy one of these air over hydraulic rams for your manual tube bender and you put it on there and it doesn't work, it doesn't necessarily mean it's broke. It might just be in the bad orientation. You might have to put a little bit of oil in it also because remember, it's made to be used vertically, not horizontally. All right, and also while you're in here, check out the build for that swag mount that we did for the, for the bender. All right, so if you like this content, please keep an eye for more to come on this channel. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. It's a newer channel, so we need the subscribers. Until then, this is 4x4 Fab Shop. I'll see you in the next uh, project.